And breathe, Plymouth fans. Phew, what a relief that Rotherham game was. We're back on the Plymouth View. We've got Jaden back with us. We've got a Leicester fan standing by as we preview the weekend's game against the Foxes. First of all, Jaden, how are you? Yeah, good. Very good after um, obviously a massive win, you know, not um not an entertaining game by any means um but we got we got the job done uh and that's all we need uh at this point um but a, a massive massive game on friday now um and also obviously tomorrow night um but yeah huge huge three points last week and a couple more massive games this week as well yeah, we're recording this before, obviously, the, the game in the midweek. Uh, we're previewing the, the Leicester game, which is a uh, another Friday night game. Um, so your third win away from home in the league this season. Which one's been your favourite? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think I think the first one, um, probably the most important, you know, just to get that, just to get that on the board. Um yeah, I think the first what the first away win is the most important in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter was going in meltdown on Friday about the standard of standard of football between between Rotherham and Rotherham and Plymouth. Um there really wasn't too much uh, too much decided. But eleven shots on target. Uh the most you've had in any league game uh, this season. So did you like the, the combination play? Do you think obviously obviously managers gonna stick with that now, or do you think it needs some more fine tuning? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, it's not, it's not obviously the best. Uh, it's not going to be the best thing ever, but it's better than what we had before. You know, under Ian Foster, we've been dreadful recently. So, yeah, I think anything's better, surely, than what we've been through the last few um, weeks and months. Yeah, and, and the fans are behind Nance, aren't they? Yeah, you know, it's obviously a legend, and and you know. <laughs> There's a positivity now in the club. There's a coming together, and that just might be the difference. You might just squeak over this line, but you probably couldn't have seen a result like that coming, could you, a couple of weeks ago, I'd imagine? No, absolutely. You know, um, <clears throat> this week obviously is massive. Um, you know, two home games. So I'm sure Home Park will be bouncing um, for, for these games. And it, I think it has to be, you know, because. That they we're going to be the ones that keep them up um, at certain points. You know we're going to keep them fighting, um, especially now they've they've got no manager. They've just got two guys who care a lot about this club, which Ian Foster didn't. So you know it's it's a good situation to be in, especially if the fans can do really well. Then yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Okay, all right. Let's bring in then our Leicester fan. Um, first of all, uh, Billy. First of all, welcome to the Plymouth View. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, first of all, let's just talk about the fix, the scheduling of this game from a Leicester City point of view. Um, lots of Leicester fans are furious about it and having ever since it was it was announced. Um, what's your view on it? Um. It is a bit of an awkward one. We're going to have to change a lot of our team around so we're ready for the next game. But um, hopefully, you know, giving Plymouth for a bit in a bit of a shaky stage right now, I think the team selection we put out won't hopefully matter too much. And obviously, it's just come off the back of the uh, game on Saturday. So, you know, we're going to have a lot of players going to be out for it. But uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't bother us too much. All right, what about the fact that it's a Friday night game three days after you, you play, whereas Leeds and Ipswich get an extra day's rest? Yeah, it's uh, it's not going to be kind, but again, it's just something we've got to deal with at this point in the season because of uh, uh, obviously the FA Cup and how that affected us. But um, yeah, hopefully it all shouldn't really hinder us too much. We should, we should have the players and the quality to be able to deal with it realistically. Okay. Uh, the reverse fixture, Jaden, was was four nil win to to Leicester. It's only one of few times where Plymouth have conceded four more goals this season. Um, I think you were at that game, weren't you? Um, Leicester just outplayed you. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah, they were in a they were in a very good run of form at that stage. I think. Uh, I think now is a much better time to play them, uh, especially with with obviously the whole of Plymouth behind us as well. Okay. Uh, Billy, uh, do Plymouth stand a chance given obviously 
just being Birmingham, um, you've now got what six cup finals left and you go straight back up. Yeah, realistically, it shouldn't, it should be a walk in the park. Realistically, we should be able to just put the game to bed. But um, you never know, unless you know, they saw the goal conceded at Birmingham, just like giving the ball, it's so easily avoidable. But I think Hermanson was asking for that all season and it finally happened. So, um, yeah, as long as we avoid, you know, silly defensive mistakes, I think if we just keep up our attacking threat and keep the consistency that we've got at the moment, then I think it should be an easy three points. All right, let's get some score predictions from you both then, please. Jaden, you head of first, Plymouth against Leicester. I'm going to go... Have one. I'm going to go 1-0 Leicester. <laughs> okay. I think Vardy might um, get a late goal or something. You know, just, I think we'll, we'll play well, though. It'll be a close encounter. OK. And Billy? Yeah, I can see it being relatively close, uh, but I see us maybe just snatching a few late goals, maybe 2-0 or something. OK. Um, Jaden, before this goes out, obviously you'll have played QPR. Um Midweek, that is. I mean, you could get thrashed five nil by Leicester, couldn't you? As long as you just beat QPRs, that's a mentality going into this game this week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we've got to put out our strongest lineup tomorrow, um, and then you know, if if we win that, then we should be we should be comfortable with putting out a less strong lineup in, against Leicester. Um, knowing that we've got that three points in the bag um, and potentially this is just a, a a game sort of, you know, with nothing really to lose. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think I think tomorrow is, is much more important. But, yeah, I think by the time this video goes out, we'll know the, the score for that game. So, fingers crossed we've got three points and um, Leicester's just sort of a one-off. Okay. All right, Leicester haven't beaten Plymouth at home park since 1955. So, if they need to change history, they'll start on Friday. Thank you very much for both for joining us. Um, and if you're a Plymouth fan and agree or disagree with anything that Jaden has said, and just give your score predictions below, we'd massively appreciate that on this channel. Thank you, Jaden. We'll catch you next week. Thanks, Billy. Cheers, Mark. Thank you.